Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my very first video and my very first unboxing and I'm so glad to be able to share it with you. I have a brand new subscription box here called The Box from Fashion Stuff, not Fashionista, the Fashion Stuff. It's $19.99 a month and I've heard mediocre reviews on it. I've heard some good, I've heard some bad, but I personally wanna see for myself because that's what kind of person I am. All right, so let's get started and hope for the best. All right, so far so good. This is what the inside of the box looks like. It has something saying, warning, the contents of this box may cause extreme excitement. You have scored 80 to $150 worth of products you'll enjoy and love. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the Glam Fam. I don't have time to read all that. It's a lot of work. Okay, moving along. Um, it has these cards. But if you have subscriptions, you should probably know that a lot of them have how much the products are worth, etc. Um, it's they have this other card here that says, "With every box purchase, you're helping 1,736 Family Crisis Center by assisting those in need." The form of monthly makeup, beauty, self-care goodies. 1736 Family Crisis Center is a non profit organization based in Los Angeles. I said 1,736. I misread it wrong. I guess this is an address of some type. Anyway, apparently they help with family crisis centers, so I'm okay with that. At least if it's a bad box, my 1999 went somewhere good or however much they give to them. All right, first in the box, VV Serum. I do not know what VV Serum is. It's Beauty Serum for the V. Beauty Serum for the V. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it says, I'm such a child. Okay. The Perfect V. It says the 2018 Pure Beauty Award bronze winner is a must have for your daily beauty routine. Dedicated to the bikini area, this beauty serum rejuvenates, revitalizes, and firms the skin, leaving it soft to touch. So I guess if you, you know, want that for your lady part area, that's $54 for the VV serum. <laughs> okay, next step. We have a detox mask green tea blend. I'm gonna open this up and this is worth $30. I'm not gonna open it. Oh, it's kind of, ooh, it was already open. Hmm. Maybe it just, oh, maybe it's just not sealed very good, but. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. I feel like that was already open though. I didn't have to put hardly any effort into that. I'm being skeptical of this, the box now. Next up, Lapcoast Color Fit Shadow Kit. I've never heard of it and it's also in a foreign language. I don't know if you can see that or not, but foreign language kind of scares me a little bit because I can't read it and I can't tell you what it is. Let's get this out of here. Oh, look, it has a whole bunch of stuff in here that I can't read. I'm just going to take that little slip out and well, I'm going to show you the palette. I mean, the colors are pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch some. Those are pretty, but I don't really like anything. I can't read it. Has a couple mattes. a couple pretty colors in here. I'm swatching my whole hand, so this is taking me a minute. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of iffy 
on this the box can you see that I'm kind of iffy on this the box I'm sorry if you can't really see that they're kind of light shaded anyway let me see if I can this is my first time doing this and I would use my arm but I'm wearing a sweater and it's terribly uncomfortable anyway so I'm not trying to roll it up and my comfort is kind of important at this moment in time but um, I'm not very happy with this palette I can't understand what it's saying the palette says it's $38 but for some reason I don't believe it I mean maybe it is but I don't know Anyway, moving along, the Melanie Mills Hollywood Gleam Body Radiance. Never heard of it either. It's $18, and I'm okay with the price. It says um, it's Peach Deluxe, whatever that means. I guess it's a shade. There's what that looks like, if you can see it. It smells good. Moving along, we have an eye jumbo liquid liner from Kaylin. I usually don't swatch eyeliners and mascaras, but I feel like I might need to. Oh, that looks good. I am a fan of jumbo eyeliner because it helps my wings on my eyes really well. And, oh, speaking of which, I tried an e.l.f. eyeliner today, gel liner, and it was horrible, and I would not recommend anyone doing it. If anyone does use it and it doesn't smear all over the place, please let me know how you do it, because I could not cooperate that stick for nothing. My cheap buy from Target did not work. Okay, moving on to the next product. Pop and Glow Pucker Up Pop Art Lip Mask. Oh, and the jumbo eyeliner was... $18, sorry. And this is $4. Eh, that's about average price. And that's everything that's in the box. So far, I'm not impressed, really. I don't know if it's because I kind of came later in the game or whatever, but I'm not very impressed with the box right now. I'm going to try this stuff on though, and I will tell you more how I think after I try it on. So, time will tell. I'm not wearing hardly any makeup right now. So, anyway, I'm going to go wash my face real quick, wash my eyes, and I'll be back. First, I'm going to put this Melanie Mills on my face. 9:20 at night so i'm not trying to go anywhere i'm not going to do a full face i'm just going to try this on i can open it okay i know using your teeth is really bad oh okay i've never heard of melanie mills this is peach deluxe it smells good smells pretty good I don't really know anything about colors on here it's I've never heard of it I don't even know where you buy it okay I'm going to try I guess I'll do a matte first I'm going to go with this color I can't tell you what it is because I can't read whatever foreign language that is Cannot even tell that this was put on. I'll try a different. I'll try this one right here. And then I'm going to go in with this one down here. So that's what that one eye looks like with that eye palette and I put the Melanie Mills on and 
this. I put all the stuff I can with the makeup. I'm not too fond of this palette. I don't, I don't really like this palette. It's not my thing. I don't know what it says. I can't tell you what the colors are. Um, I just, honestly, I've heard good things about this box. I don't know if it's because I got in later in the game, I got a bad box, or if this is like this every month, but I'm not impressed with the box by Fashion Stuff. Tell me what you think. Do you like the box? What is your favorite subscription box? And do you, would you be okay with this palette? I mean, everything else I guess is okay. I've never heard of a lot of it, but I can't read what this says. I mean, it's, it's foreign. I can't read what it says. And here's another one. I guess I'm gonna have to research it, but I'm not impressed with this, the box. But tell me how you feel about it. I'm not even gonna bother doing my other eye. I'm tired, but that's what that eye looks like. So I guess just let me know how you feel about the box. Did you get a good box? If you have the box, just let me know. All right, please subscribe to my channel. I have Twitter, I have Instagram, it's all listed. And also, I have a P.O. box if you'd like to write. Um, that's also listed. All right, have a great night, guys. Thank you.